opportunity to just speak to us. Lord, I'm asking that you speak through me. I'm asking that you give me utterance. Holy Father, I'm asking that you give me utterance. I am asking that you give me the tongue of the learned in the name of Jesus. Merciful Savior, I bless you and worship you. And it's in Jesus' mighty name I will pray. Lord, you are welcome in this place. Lord, you are welcome in this place. Lord, you are welcome in this place. Have you it? Lord, you are welcome in this place. Lord, you are welcome in this place. Lord, you are welcome in this place. Have you it? Glory, glory, glory to the Lamb. Oh, you are glorious and worthy to be praised. You are the Lamb upon the throne. And unto you we lift our voice in praise. You are the Lamb upon the throne. For you are glorious. Oh, you are glorious. And what it to be praised. You are the Lamb upon the throne. And unto you we lift our voice in praise. You are the Lamb upon the throne. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new masses I see. All I have needed, I and has provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord unto me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we bless your name. Thank you, Father, for this time. Hallelujah. I just want to welcome each and every individual that is in this tent of meeting. I also want to welcome those that are watching online. Welcome to World Changers tonight. Welcome online. Welcome to World Changers. Hallelujah. We are online and we bless God for you. Anyway, tonight I was tasked by my father to just come and exhort us and to speak to us about God to make me a healing power distributor. That God should make me you to make you and me to be a healing power distributor. Healing power distributor. And what is to what is distributor? What is to be a distributor? According to the dictionary, to be a distributor, to be a distributor rather, is an agent who supplies goods to retailer. I repeat, to be a distributor is an authorized agent that supplies goods to retailers. Beloved, Jesus is still in the business of healing the sick. Jesus is not here physically to heal, but he uses people like you and me to heal. Beloved, so long as you are born again and you are a child of God, the power of healing flows in your hands. Let's see in the book of Mark chapter 16. Mark chapter 16. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord, we worship you. Mark chapter 16. Verse 18, Mark 16, 18. Thank you, Lord. Well, Lord, we bless your name. Thank you, Father. For 16, verse 18, it says, 
the big part of it, it says they shall take up the serpent, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. But part B of verse 18, it says, they shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. Wonderful people, with that scripture we can see that, that we've been mandated, we've been mandated by Jesus to continue to walk in this. And so we see also that, that Jesus bore our infirmities on the cross so that we can have this divine health. We see this divine health and healing. That is in the book of Isaiah chapter 5, 53, verse, verse 5. Altibibia, thank you for what you're doing. Isaiah 53, verse 5. Yes, it says, and he was wounded for our transgression, and he was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. And so, that, with that Bible scripture, we can be able to say that from that point is the place that we all acquired. We acquired healing power. He prayed the price. For whatever disease and sickness, he paid the price. And so all you need to do as brethren is to appropriate in this blessing. Is to appropriate in this blessing. Let's see also in Luke chapter 9 verse 1 to 2. Luke chapter 9 verse 1 to 2. So as a brother or as a sister, somebody that is there, you should understand that Jesus has opened the door. For you to appropriate, to key in into this blessing of healing. Hallelujah. It says, then he called his twelve disciples together and gave them power and authority over all devils and to cure diseases. So we see that Jesus himself was a distributor. Eh? He distributed healing power. He gave them authority. And so the disciples received authority. They became distributors to go and work miracle. And so I'm repeating to say that, that as a brother or as a sister, you need to key in appropriately into this. And so let's quickly check what happens when you are healthy. What happens when you are healthy? We see that number one, What happens when you are healthy? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. What happens when you are healthy? Since Jesus has given us a mandate and he has told us to appropriately to key into this blessing, what happens when you are healthy? It is very expensive to be sick. It is very expensive to be sick. Jeremiah, Let's look into Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 6. It says, Behold, number one, what happens when we are, we are sick, we are, we are healthy? Number one, we can see this, this in Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 6. We see that when you are healthy, it brings abundance of peace and enjoyment. When you are healthy, it brings abundance of peace and enjoyment. We can see this in Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 6. It says, Behold, it says, Behold, I will bring it health and cure, and I will cure them, and reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth. So we see that when you are healthy, it brings abundance of peace and enjoyment. Another thing, what happens, another point to note that when you are healthy, it makes everything around you to be well. We can see this in 3 John, 3 John, 3 John chapter, chapter 1 verse 2, it says, Hallelujah, Father, we thank you. Dear friends, I pray that you may enjoy good health and that all may go well with you, even as your soul is getting along well. So we see that when you are healthy, you, everything around you 
as well. And so another point to note, another point to note when you're healthy is it wipes tears, pain, death, and loss, and also losses. We can see this in Revelation chapter 21, verse 4. Revelation 21, verse 4. Thank you, Jesus. Revelation 21, verse 4, it says, And God shall wipe all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. So we see that three things that I, can, I took note of is that, number one, when you're healthy, it brings abundant peace and enjoyment. It makes everything around you to be well. Number three, it wipes tears, pain, and death. Quickly, let's consider two people that were power distributors in the Bible. Two people that I saw that we now from there we can be able to now enter into the mode of prayer. Two people in the Bible, we can see that, that were power distributors. We can see this in Mark chapter 5. Mark chapter 5 verse 27. Yes, it says, we know this story, the woman that had issue of the blood, when she had heard of Jesus and came from behind, hallelujah, says, when she had heard of Jesus came in the, in, in the press, in the press behind and touched his garment, verse 28, verse 28, For she said, if I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. Verse 29. And straight away, the fountain of her blood was dried up. And she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. Verse 30, please. It says, and Jesus immediately, knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him and turned him about in the press and said, who touched my clothes? Other version says, power went out of Jesus. And so, Jesus was one of the persons that were, was an example of people in the Bible that were power distributor. Another two people we may consider, two people that we may consider, and then from there, we straight away go into prayer, is Peter and John. We see this in Acts chapter 3, Acts of Apostle. Chapter 3, hallelujah, verse 6 to 7. Hallelujah. It says, Then Peter said, Said, Silver and gold have I nine, but such as I give, give I thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Verse 7, he says, he took him by the right hand and lifted him up. And immediately his feet and ankles and ankle bones received strength. So we see also that Peter was a power distributor. Peter was a power distributor of what? Of healing. We say that. A distributor is an agent that has been given mandate to do what? To sell goods to the, retail, to the retailer. And so to you as well, you are a child of God that has been mandated by Jesus Christ to go and do what? To distribute healing power. And so with those few remarks, I'd like us to, to be upstanding so that we can take up a few prayer points. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We take up three few prayer points. Hallelujah. I want you to plead yourself, plead upon yourself with the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus upon myself. I plead the blood of Jesus upon myself. I plead the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus.
that cleanses me from all sin and unrighteousness. I plead it over my life. In the name of Jesus. Go ahead and plead the blood of Jesus over your life. I plead the blood of Jesus upon my life. In the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus that makes me to be in fellowship with Christ Jesus. And cleanse me from all unrighteousness and sin. Go ahead and plead the blood of Jesus upon yourself. I plead the blood of Jesus upon myself. I plead the blood of Jesus upon the people that are praying here. I plead the blood of Jesus upon world changes. I plead the blood of Jesus upon every department that is functioning in this church. I plead the blood of Jesus upon my family, my wife, my children. I designate, I plead the blood of Jesus upon my, my immediate family members, my siblings. I plead the blood of Jesus. Number two, if Ephesians chapter 6 verse 11 Put on the full armor of God. Kindly put it on the, on, the, on the multimedia so that people can continue to do that. And therefore, number two, put on the, full, the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. I put on the whole armor of God that I may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. I put on the whole armor of God that I may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. I put on the armor of God in the name of Jesus. I put on the whole armor of God in the name of Jesus. I put on the whole armor of God. Verse 13, I take unto me the whole armor of God. I take unto me the whole armor of God that I may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. In the name of Jesus, I put on the whole of armor of God that I may be able to withstand the evil day that having done all to stand, that I may also stand in the name of Jesus. I put on the whole armor of God. Ah, in the name of Jesus, I put on the whole armor of God. I am armed. I can be able to withstand all armor, all manner of attacks in the name of Jesus. And having done all, I still stand. Stand, verse 14 says, stand therefore having your loins guarded with truth. I guard myself with truth. I put on the breastplate of righteousness. I guard myself with the truth and put on the breastplate of righteousness in the name of Jesus. I put on the breastplate of righteousness. I put on the blessed breastplate of righteousness in the name of Jesus. And now in the name of Jesus, verse 15, and my feet with is shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. In the name of Jesus, my feet be shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace in the name of Jesus and above all and above all narosa take the shield of faith above all verse 16 i take the shield of faith i take the shield of faith where i be able to stand and to able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked above all i take the hallelujah thank you jesus first corinthians And the Bible says to another, to another faith by the same spirit, to, a, to another the gift of healing by the same spirit. I, w I want us to pray, Father, Holy Spirit, switch on the gift of healing in me so that I can distribute healing in the name of Jesus. It says to another by the same spirit, to another the gift of healing by the same spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, switch on. Switch on the, the, the gift of healing in me so that I can distribute healing. In the name of Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, I am asking that to switch on the gift of healing so that I can be able to distribute healing to people around me that are sick. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, I am asking that you help me switch on Holy Spirit, the gift, switch on the gift of healing in me so that I can distribute healing. Switch on the gift of healing in me so that I can distribute healing. In the mighty name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, I am asking that to switch on the gift of healing in me so that I can distribute, so that I can be able to lay hands on people and they recover. In the name of Jesus, switch it on. 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 Holy Spirit, I am asking that to switch it on. In the name of Jesus, switch it on. Holy Spirit, I am asking. I am asking that to switch it on. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus mighty name have we prayed.
Exodus chapter 23, verse 25. Bible says, Worship the Lord your God, and his blessing will be on your food and water. And I will take away sickness from among you. Exodus 23, verse 25, it says, Worship the Lord your God, and he, his blessing will be on your food and water, and take away diseases from you. From among you, you shall pray, Father, as we, we worship you, O Lord, we are asking, Father, let your blessing be upon our food and water in the name of Jesus. Take away sickness from amongst us in the name of Jesus. Father, as we worship you today, as we continue to worship you, as we've been worshiping you, O God, in this commission, O Lord, let your blessing be upon our food and water and Take away sickness. Take away sickness from amongst us. In the name of Jesus. But adventure there is sickness in people's life in this commission. Lord, we are worshiping you. And we are asking, oh God, let your blessing be upon our food and water. And take away sickness and disease from among us. In the name of Jesus, let sickness and diseases be taken out of our way in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name have we prayed. In the in just same, same scripture, I want you to pray, let every germ of infirmity inside my body die in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray in the name of Jesus. Let any germ of infirmity in my body Die in the name of Jesus. Let any germ of infirmity in my body die in the name of Jesus. Any germ of infirmity in my body, we command it to die in the name of Jesus. Germ of infirmity in the lives of our children, in the lives of our family members. You germ of infirmity brought about by water and contaminated food, we command it to die. Die in the name of Jesus. 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 Every germ of infirmity. Die in the name of Jesus. Every germ of infirmity in our lives, in our destiny. Every germ of infirmity working slowly or taking root in our food or in the in contaminated water. We command it to die. That is in our body. We command it to die in the name of Jesus. Every germ of infirmity in my body that I do not know. I command it to die in the name of Jesus. I command it to die. I command the germ of infirmity to die in Jesus mighty name. Have we prayed? Third John we say that, that the reason if you are healthy everything around you will be well. Because I remember my elder brother, there's a time he was sick. And so we, we were taking shifts to go and nurse him. So I remember that time I was still in high school. And so I would go to his house in Komarok, nurse him the whole night. Then tomorrow morning, I'm going to school. And you can see the, 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 the stress in somebody. You cannot concentrate. And so I want us to consider that, John. One, two, we say that when signs that you are healthy or if you are healthy all will be well with you it says dear friend i pray that you may enjoy good health and that all may go well with you even as your soul is getting along i want us to pray from today i enter into the covenant of good health so that everything in me may be well in order in the name of Jesus, go ahead and pray. In the name of Jesus, from today, I, I continue to enter this covenant of good health. I enter into this covenant of good health so that everything in me may be well. So that everything that is in, in, in this order may be put in order. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare from today, I decree and declare that I enjoy, I continue.
need you to enjoy the covenant of good health in my life so that everything that pertains my destiny and my life may be well in the name of Jesus from today no more no more sickness in the name of Jesus no more sickness in the name of Jesus no more sickness around people around us around people that are related to us in the name of Jesus from today no more sickness in the name of Jesus I decree as I enter into this covenant every internal disorder I put you into order in the name of Jesus every internal disorder I put you into order in the name of Jesus everything in me is going to be in order and well in the name of Jesus my soul my spirit my body you are going to all be in order order you are not going to misbehave in the name of jesus i receive in my life and destiny the cov i continue to receive and walk in the covenant of good health that everything that pertains to me may be well in the name of jesus in jesus mighty name have we prayed and so jeremiah Another point to consider and anything, another thing to attack, we can see this in Jeremiah chapter 15 verse 18. It says, why is my pain perpetual and my wound incurable, which refuses to be healed? Beloved, there's a time that I remember somebody was saying that he prayed for a certain person. And that person, when he visited that country, the person said that the pain that was somewhere here has now shifted is somewhere here. That is what we call perpetual pain that refuses to do what? To go. Today, like uh, children in most cases, you find that today you're buying all manner of uh, 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 cough syrups that the chemist person will prescribe and say that take this, this will drive this. After two days, once the child, after one week, the child finishes the cough syrup, then again the child does what? starts to cough again. That is what we call perpetual incurable sickness that refused to be healed. So I want us to pray that Father, every spirit hindering my, my perfect healing, fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. Father, every spirit hindering my perfect healing, fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Every spirit that is hindering my perfect healing fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Every spirit healing, hindering perfect healing in this commission, hindering perfect healing over the saints of this commission, we command it to fall down and die in the name of Jesus. You power, you spirit, hindering perfect healing in the lives of the, com of the saints of this commission, are either by a we command you spirit that is hindering perfect healing to their lives and their destiny fall down and die in the name of Jesus fall down and die every spirit hindering perfect healing we command you to fall down and die every spirit that is coming going and coming back to inflict the children of this commission we command you to die in the name of Jesus we command you to die we command you to be to die in the name of Jesus we command you to die in the name of Jesus we command you to die in the name of Jesus in Jesus mighty name have we prayed there's another spirit that makes people to be cast cast down cast their spirits down we can see this in Psalms 42 verse 11 says, Why art thou cast down, O my soul? Why are you disquieted within me? Hope thou in God, for, for yet, for, for in God, for I shall yet praise him, who is the health of my countenance and my God. See, there's a spirit that makes your continent to be sick, and it may also cause your bones to be sick as well. Says some of these diseases, are just self inflictory that you brought it by yourself. Uh, so I want us to pray. Every fountain of discomfort in my life dry up and 
die in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. Every fountain of discomfort that makes my countenance to be gloomy, that it will shoot people to have blood pressure and shoot people to have all manner of self-inflicted diseases. Every fountain of discomfort that deals with my countenance, I command you to fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Fountain of discomfort that brings sickness and healing that, that brings sickness I command it to fall down and die in the name of Jesus every, every spirit that makes my soul to be cast down and when my soul is cast down it makes one to be sick in the name of Jesus that makes my hope to be deferred and makes my, 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 my body to be sick we command and you spirit that devours, defies hopes, we command you to die, fall down and die. In the name of Jesus, we command you to fall down and die. In the mighty name of Jesus, fall down and die. We command you to die. We command you to die. We command you to die. In the name of Jesus, Riko Seprekesatoka, Riko Seprekleskotata, any spirit that makes my soul to be cast down, that makes me to be disquieted within me, that makes my hope to be deferred from God, I command it to fall down and die. In the name of Jesus, I command it to fall down and die. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. I command it to die. I command it to die. In the name of Jesus. Every spirit that makes my soul to be discussed down. And makes me to be disquieted within me. That makes me not to praise God. I command it to die. I command it to die. I command it to die. Every fountain ten of discomfort in me dry up and die I command it to dry up and die I command it to dry up and die I command it to dry up and die in the name of Jesus I command it to fall down and die I command you Rato Seketo Kolopre in Tasata Kota Lata Tatatata Kishoto Kota Lapeta in the name of Jesus dry up now dry and die fall down dry and die in the name of Jesus I command you every spirit that makes my hopes to be deferred not to hope in God makes my soul to be cast down I will command you to die dry up and die ah, in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus we command you you forces that attacks our continent that makes us to be gloomy ah, we command you to die in the name of Jesus that makes our bones uh, to be sick uh, we come that will make our bones to dry up uh, we command it to die in the name of Jesus in Jesus mighty name have we prayed I want us to pray into our lives now from the book of Isaiah chapter 58 verse 8, verse 8 it says then shall the light break forth as the morning and thine health shall spring forth speedily and thy righteousness shall go before thee. The glory of the Lord shall be thy reward. You see, I want us to attack any spirit that is curtailing our health. It says here, Then shall thy light break forth as the morning, and thine health shall spring forth speedily. For adventure, there is somebody that is taking long to be healed. I want you to attack that spirit that our health shall spring forth speedily. Not this week the child is taking cough syrup. The other week again after two weeks he has finished the dose. He's again taking cough syrup. In your house you're full of cough syrups in your bedroom. I want you to attack this spirit in the name of Jesus. Any spirit curtailing our health to break forth speedily. We attack you in the name of Jesus. Any power that is curtailing our springing forth of our health we attack you in the name of jesus we arrest every spirit that does not want our health to break forth at the morning light that does not want our health to speedily go forth we are attacking 
attacking the spirit in the name of Jesus we are Thank you right now so that our glory can go before us in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus so that our righteousness shall go before us and the glory of God shall be our reward. Every power that is cut Tailing the glory uh, of God in our lives that does not want our, 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 our health to speedily go forth. We attack you right now in the name of Jesus. That when you lay hands on people, the people are getting more sicker. We attack the spirit in the name of Jesus. We attack you in the mighty name of Jesus. We attack you in the name of Jesus. Rita Seca Lotakata. Rito Soko. Rita Locosete, Rito Sika Tokolapre, Rita Tatatata. We attack you right now. We attack you in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, I will pray. Same, same scripture. We, I wanted to pray that every dead organ in my life that is not functioning will spring forth like the morning light. In the name of Jesus, every dead organ in my body that is not functioning well, spring forth and break forth like the light of the morning. In the name of Jesus, everything in me that is not functioning or intend to be not to function in the future, uh, that is going to catch up with me in my old age, I command every dead, every dead organ in me, in my in my in my years to come in my sunset years uh, they shall grow they shall i decree and declare they shall function well and spring forth like the bright morning light in the name of jesus any power any power that does not want my my, my body to function well or any power that will attack my body during my older years oh in the name of jesus all oh, that has arranged that when i'm old in some old age years that is going to cut Tailor my body that is going to slow down uh, the speedy health of my body. We attack you in advance. Uh, in the name of Jesus, I decree that my organs in my older years uh, will work well, will function well, uh, and spring forth and bring light uh, like the, the sun, that like the morning light. In the name of Jesus Christ. Rico sete kenta rato loco. Rito si calabri do zakota. Rito cosa toca lonte ke pakota. Ripracosa santa ke paladoshe. Riata sonta ke paloso santo zeshe. Riata canta manta cober corita. Riacusa zikashete catalota. We attack you in the name of Jesus. Not that when we are old, somebody has got diabetic, somebody has got pressure. We attack that spirit in the name of Jesus. Our health is going to speedily go forth, break like the morning light in our ears in our older years in our future in the name of Jesus in Jesus mighty name have we prayed I want us also to deal with every negative confessions confessions that attract sickness that uh, you are asked how are you feeling I am not well how are you feeling I am still sick those are negative confessions that we need to attack so that they don't get embedded in our health. Those are negative confession. We can see this in Proverbs 18.21. It says, life and death is under the power of tongue. A tongue, them that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. I want us to attack that I withdraw every conscious and unconscious cooperation with sickness in the name of Jesus. With confession, with sickness in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. I withdraw every unconscious and conscious cooperation with sickness in the, by my confession in the name of Jesus. Jesus, I withdraw negative confessions that makes me to consciously and unconsciously cooperate with this with sickness through my negative confession. In the name of Jesus, I withdraw. Peradventure, I am I'm, I'm talked unconsciously. Peradventure, I talked consciously. Negative confession that is cooperating with sickness that is waiting to attack me. I withdraw you from the air. I withdraw you in the name of 
Lord Jesus, I withdraw you from the bank of infirmity. I withdraw you in the mighty name of Jesus. I withdraw you in the name of Jesus. I withdraw you and now start to speak positive in the name of Jesus where there was negativity. I withdraw you every negative confessions that want to attack me through sickness. I withdraw you and I now positively confess positive confessions where there was negative confession that the enemy is going to use to attack me with sickness in the name of Jesus Christ we attack you now we attack you now we attack you now we attack you now in the name of Jesus we attack you 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 in the name of Jesus or consciously that is cooperating with sickness to attack you therefore I withdraw you I withdraw you in the name of Jesus I withdraw you from the bank of sickness I withdraw you in the mighty name of Jesus I withdraw you right now I withdraw you now in the name of Jesus I withdraw you Rico Soto in Jesus' mighty name, have we prayed. Lastly, but not least, we want to consider that when you have unbelief and doubt, lack of understanding and perception, perception may do what? May attract sickness. And so I want us to, to deal with this spirit so that it can, we can be allowed to be what? To be distributors of health. I want us to consider Acts of Apostles, verse 20, chapter 28, verse 27. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Twenty-eight, verse 27. Yes, thank you. Multimedia. It says... For the heart of these people is wax close and their ears are dull of hearing and their eyes have they close. Let they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their hearts and should be converted and I should heal them. So we see that when you have unbelief, doubt, lack of understanding and your perception can do what? Can hinder you from being a healing distributor. I want us to pray. Scales in my eyes fall down in the name of Jesus. Scales in my eyes. Scales in my eyes fall down in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. Every scales in my eyes eyes that makes me not to be healing distributor every scales of my eyes or in my eyes i command it to fall down from my eyes and die in the name of jesus i command you to fall down and die in the name of jesus i command you to die i command you to fall down from my eyes and die i command it to fall down from my eyes and die in the name of jesus every skills that makes me to see but i'm not seeing or seeing blind i command you to fall down and die because you are an hindrance that is going to cause us not to be healing distributor we command you to fall down and in the name of Jesus, we command you to fall down and die. We command you to fall down and die. In the name of Jesus, we command you to fall down and die. We command you to fall down and die. 
die in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, I will pray. Secondly, you're going to pray every dullness, every spirit of dullness that makes somebody to be to be to unbelieve, to be in this, not to believe. We command the dullness to dry up out of our hearts in the name of Jesus. We command you to dry you dullness. Dry out of our hearts in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus we command you dullness to dry. In the name of Jesus we command you dullness to dry. In the name of Jesus we command you dullness to dry out of our eyes out of our hearts and our ears in the name of Jesus we command you to die dullness we command you to every dullness uh, we command you every works in my ears I command you to dry up by fire melt by fire melt by fire melt by fire in the name of Jesus every works in my ears in my ears I command you as well oh, dry I command you to melt and dry melt and dry melt and dry in the name of Jesus melt and dry in my hearing. I command you to go out. I command you to die. I command you to die out of our lives. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus mighty name I will pray. I want you to say Lord Jesus go to, I want you to pray Lord Jesus go to every minute, every hour, every second of my life where the enemy has in every second of, of my foundation where the enemy planted sickness and I don't know that in to attack me, that wants to curtail me, not to be healing distributor. I, Lord Jesus, go and uproot every infirmity waiting to happen in my destiny. Go ahead and pray. In the name of Jesus, Jesus, go back to my foundation. Go back to every second, every second of my foundation, every hour, every minute in my foundation where the enemy has planted hidden sickness from my roots that wants me to, to curtail me not to be healing distributor. Oh Lord Jesus, and uproot it in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, I am asking, go to my foundation. Go to every minute. Go to every hour. Go to every place of my roots, of my foundation that the enemy as singled, as planted things, waiting it to grow up with my help so that it curtails me not to be healing distributor. In the name of Jesus, I am asking that you uproot it. Lord Jesus, uproot it. In the name of Jesus, Lord Jesus, I am asking that you uproot it. Any tear of sickness that the enemy has planted in my health. Lord Jesus, I am asking that you uproot it. In the name of Jesus, let it be uprooted so that it doesn't grow in my health to curtail me to be to, to not to be to cut to cut me so that I don't become a healing distributor. In the name of Jesus, Father, I am asking the name of we pray. Amen. Let's just appreciate Pastor Grace as she comes. Let's appreciate our mother as she comes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let's appreciate as she comes again, congregation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, ma. Hallelujah. Let's celebrate Jesus with a hand clap. Hallelujah. That doesn't look like for my Jesus. That doesn't look like for the giver of life, for the giver of breath. The one who is able to make us to be healthy and to be dis uh, distributors of health. Celebrate Jesus! Hallelujah! Amen. Hallelujah. Let's stretch our hands and pray for uh, Minister Yaro.
Let's decree and declare in Jesus' name. In his life, he will live healthy. And in Jesus' name, he will be a distributor of health. In Jesus' name, he will never be sick. In the mighty name of Jesus, he will live healthy. He will live strong. In the name of Jesus, all the days of his life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for the vessel you have used, O Lord, even to lead us to pray today, the 21st day of our fasting and prayer. Thank you, O Lord, even how you have led us to pray against diseases, against infirmities. And you have helped us to pray that even in our own life, we'll be so healthy that we'll be distributors of health. We worship and we adore you. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Sit briefly and package your offering. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, I, I heard somebody saying that uh, when people are young, he was trying to say the stages that people go through in life. He said young um, uh, people, you know, husband and wife, he said when they are, they are, they, 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 they are newly married and um, they, they, they are still young, he said their bedroom smells of perfume smells nice so as time goes on when they have a baby their bedroom begins